Hello, my fellow Torians. My name is Lavender Lay, and welcome to my channel. Um, starting from today, or from whenever you're watching this, um, I'm, so, I'm going to start doing um, zodiac sign readings for like the month ahead. So whatever month is coming next, I'll be doing a reading for that. So this month is for this one is for the month of September 2022. Um, we're going to see, like, what's going on in your current energy, and then we'll go and check into your love life. So, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Because you guys are my favorites, because we're, you know, right here. Both Tauruses. Okay, so, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's going on in their... What's going on for them in t September 2022? It's got the Eight of Wands. Something speedy is happening. What's going on for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising in September 2022? Just got the Justice card, Ten of Swords in reverse, and Six of Swords. Get one more. What's going on for... Ooh, there we go. Judgment. On the back of the deck is the Page of Pentacles. Let's get some clarifiers. Can I get a clarifier for the Eight of Wands, please? Ooh. We've got the Two of Swords in Reverse and the Ten of Cups. We get a clarifier for the Justice card. Clarifier for the Justice card. the eight of wands in reverse clarification for six of swords in reverse five of pentacles and the eight of pentacles back of the deck is the high priestess look at us showing up so I feel like some sort of unfairness is coming toward, like, unfairness is being corrected very quickly, but with this Eight of Wands and the Justice card coming out first. Like, you're not, these, these burdens that you've had are being released with the Ten of Wands, or uh, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords in reverse. Like, you can see, like, this person has a bunch of swords in their back, and, but this card is reversed, like, you're not... You're not going to feel burdened anymore. Um, I don't know. I feel like you were on some sort of journey. And now it's come, like this journey is coming to an end. Like you're finally seeing what the... You're finally getting to what the destination is. And your destination is this happiness. You're not having to... You're not split between two decisions. You're coming towards something that's fulfilling especially with this sun card and it didn't come very quickly with this eight of swords in reverse and you were feeling like it was never going to end or anything like you were going to have to suffer with this forever but you've been working so hard toward towards it and so i feel like you know some sort of life that you've been manifesting is finally coming towards you you might be going as a student again especially with this page of pentacles and then the high priestess um 
which rings true for me because I'm going I'm literally starting back in school in September <laughs> um, so if you're also going back to school hey um, that may be for some of you um, but yeah so let's pull some oracle cards and see if we can get any additional messages Ooh, excuse me I get random hiccups and it's usually just one and my mother has texted me so can we get additional messages for Taurus Sun Moon and Rising for September 2022 what's going on Okay, it's only three. Perfect. So we've got the Golden Children, We the Hathors, and Starbathing. Okay, so We the Hathors and Starbathing came out for Aries. But this is like a completely different energy because we've got the Golden Children. Inner Child, Tenderness, Innocence, Rare Gifts. And then for the We the Hathors, Deep Love, Mother's Milk, Birth is a Portal. And then Starbathing, Light Body, Crystal Grid, Transmission Activation. So I feel like, especially with those golden children, you're finally, I feel like you're going to finally be living a life where you can really tap into your inner child and like give, give more to your inner child and really heal it. Um, like you're really going to be mothering, remothering yourself. Um, and because you're doing that, it's going to be activating something into your, in your life to where you can feel you know, you can really make that, <sighs> sorry, yawning, you can really, like, heal your inner child, make it happy, make yourself happy, um, but yeah, let's pull some more cards, What's going on for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising for September 2022? Taurus. Sun, Moon, and Rising, September 2022. What's going on? What's the energy? There we go. So we've got White Witch, Be the Light, Great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences and seer. See beyond the current situation. Um, so yeah, I feel like you're going to finally like. There's a spiritual experience that you're going to be going through that you're going to learn a lot from, and you're finally going to be the light in your own situation. Like you're not gonna just sit there and be like, oh my god this situation is happening to me blah 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 <gasps> sorry I keep yawning I'm very tired but um yeah like I feel like whatever situation you're in right now like you're going to be able to just see beyond it and have some sort of fulfillment in yourself to where you know you're not feeling like you're like you can finally see beyond what's going with the situation of um whatever hardship you're going through like it's not it's not going to rule whatever is going on in your life but yeah let's move on into love I'm 
and see what's going on in your love life. So what's going on in the love life of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising for September 2022. Woo. Oh, that's crazy. I actually saw, when I was splitting the deck, um, I actually saw the moon. So that's crazy that it came out. It, it was meant to be, I guess. What's going on in love for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising for September 2022. Page of Pentacles making a reappearance. What's going on for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising? <coughs> That's way too many cards. Woo! There we go. Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles, Four of Cups. I feel like somebody you may have rejected in the past before that offered you their cup. Maybe they were some. They were like at the time they were a page, but now they're a king and they're coming back to offer you a cup again. And this time you're gonna take it and it's gonna be great because you guys are gonna have this you know fulfillment or it could be the opposite you offered your you offered a cup to somebody else and you know you felt a lot of emotions for this person and you were a page and now you're a king of pentacles and you're in that energy and they're gonna finally take your cup and you guys are going to live happily ever after but let's pull some clarifiers we got the five of wands which it depicts in this scene two people getting married as you can see this person is in um japanese shintoism bridal um, um garments so y'all could be getting married love that for you love that for us um let's get some clarifiers it should be noted that the the um Three of Swords in reverse showed itself to me. So yeah, it could be somebody that rejected you before and now you guys are going to be, you know, peeking it up. But let's get a, a clarifier for the moon, please. Can you get a clarifier for the moon? There we go. Four Cups comes again. Yeah, it was definitely somebody who you felt a lot of emotions for and they wouldn't take your cup. Um, Queen of Swords, but now there's some sort of truth. Maybe you're finding how like your feelings are reciprocated. Six of Swords in reverse. Maybe this relationship, like they rejected you because of things were long distance and now things won't be long distance anymore. Yeah, because you're going to be traveling. You can see like this person with the two of wands is holding a globe. So now you're looking, you're able, you're in a position where you can travel. Get a clarification for the four of cups, please. I'm just going to let you guys know that this is very accurate for me. Um... <laughs> At least, like, the travel part, like, I'm now, I just recently got a job to where, um, I'm fully remote within the U.S. at least, so I can travel within the U.S. Um, three of Wands. Yep, there you go. Traveling. Look at that. You can see, like, this person is holding one of the wands as a staff, and he's, like, over a cliff, and you can see all the boats and stuff. Definitely traveling. Yep, and Knight of Wands, you're rushing towards this person. Yeah, I feel like that's all the messages that I've got um, from the tarot, at least. So, 
let's pull from my romance deck, which I also really need to add on to. What is going on with this relationship for Taurus? Futaba and Co. Pass love ring your turn. We already got that. Which is crazy because that came out for Aries as well. Maka and Soul Eater. Through life's challenges, you will build an unbreakable bond. And soulmates. Yes, you're destined to be together. In the back of the deck is a sick episode. An illness may bring you to closer together. So if you don't know what the sick episode is, because you don't watch, maybe you don't watch anime. I can't. Ex I know everybody who watches my channel is not gonna be like an anime lover. Um, but the sick episode is like a trope in anime where somebody, one of the love interests or whatever, either the main character or um, the main character's love interest gets sick, and so the character go, so the other goes and takes care of them and nurses them back to health and everything, and it's you know very you know sweet and you see that oh this person would do anything for me and really take care of me blah 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 but yeah but let's see if we can get some zodiac signs personality traits of this person i forgot to say this in aries um reading but the placements can be sun moon and rising um, we're, we're really any placements in their chart, but yeah. I'm trying to be quick about this because I actually have the clock in to work soon. Ooh, all right. Got Gyome, Nezuko, so Capricorn, Virgo. Get one more, please. What's this person's zodiac signs and personality traits? And we got Momo, Libra. So Capricorn, Li Virgo, and Libra. Um, protective, brazen, responsible, caring, gentle, emotional, soft-spoken, sensitive, and level-headed, prudent, and de dedicated. So yeah, um, I'm going to read the quotes to you really quick and then that'll be all for today's reading. Um, so for Nezuko, it's you got you get to decide what where your happiness comes from, what's important now, what is what's important is now. Um, for Gyome's read, um, quote, it's, we're proud to live and die as human beings. Don't act like your worthless ideas are supreme and force them on others. And then for Momo, it's, we should always start with the, with the basics to develop the depth of learning. We must strive to devote ourselves wholeheartedly. So yeah, that's all that I've got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up comment down below tell me how this resonated with you um and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the post notification bell so you don't miss out on my next reading thank you guys so much for letting me read your cards and i hope you have a great rest of your day bye